nearly three decades with U.S. Fish and Wildlife, gives Lee Albrecht the experience to know where to be and when. They go the same direction they've been going. They would be coming out and going northeast here. So we wait in the dark. The element of surprise on our side. We could move up to that next batch of Phragmites up there. Hannah Shosi waits with us. She wants to work in a place like this after she finishes school. Yeah, definitely. I didn't know that this many were even in like one spot at a time. We're hoping to catch a glimpse of the nearly 10,000 sandhill cranes Lee saw here the day before. They usually come out like in family groups. They'll just start trickling out. But we can't hear a thing. And 10,000 cranes should be making one heck of a ruckus. We're just behaving different today. They, they move, they're in a different spot, and I don't know really why they did that. Like the cranes knew the cameras were coming, they decided last night to roost in a different part of the lake. But as we creep closer to where they're hiding, they surprise us. There's a group headed our way. First, just a few. There's another badge. Then hundreds, thousands fly close enough like they're posing for the pictures. It was cool to see how all of them get up at once and just take off. For about an hour, one group after another. They're heading to nearby fields to eat the grain and corn left after harvest. Usually, when they're going out to feed, they just go out and they're gone and they don't come back until the end of the day. The Sandhill Cranes stop at Long Lake every fall on their way to Texas. They stay for about a month. You can still hear, they're still making a ruckus up there. There's still a good batch of them up there. Lee says they'll be heading south any day now. But then again. But it was goofy. Those silly crane, most of them roosted out here. They're just as likely to pull another fast one on him. Well, we got good footage. Mike Shosey. It just wasn't the kind of footage I thought we were going to get. KX News.